Hello and welcome to the Power to Weight to Dollar Subcompact Shootout. I'm Jim, co-host of the Homemade Car Show, Crossthread. Now, if you watched our first ever episode or read my article on RacingJunk.com, you'll know that we've invented a new statistic for cars called Power to Weight to Dollar. It's a metric for using a vehicle's specs to make an educated guess about how fun it would be to own. Sort of like how your spouse attempts to make an educated guess about how annoying you'll be 20 years from now. Now, this list is meant to provide a starting point for someone who, like me, doesn't have a lot of cash, but wants to have some fun in a car. Maybe you want something you can autocross, or you just want to get in a few grins on the way to work. Now, most car shows don't even bother talking about cars under 25 grand. Every time I hear an auto journalist refer to a $50,000 car as inexpensive, it makes me insane. It does not cost that much to have fun, folks. Remember, the most fun thing you can do is free. And with that spirit in mind, here's our formula. It's the power to weight ratio divided by the cost in US Dolores. The resulting number is pretty tiny, so we move the decimal point seven places to the right, just like an American mortgage lender circa 2007. How do you get the power to weight ratio? You divide the power in kilowatts by the weight in kilograms. Easy. Except it's not quite that easy. For one thing, manufacturers are kind of coy about specs. Only two of the 11 manufacturers we'll look at today provided curb weight on their websites. The rest I had to scrounge for, so accuracy is questionable. Now it might seem like manufacturers are being sneaky, but I think the truth is they just think most people don't care. And to be fair to the manufacturers, they are correct that most people make buying decisions based on emotion, not fact. Hmm. It says here, let the product do the sell. That makes sense. Let the product do the sell. But manufacturers also are tight-lipped, even sneaky sometimes, about specs. They spend a lot of money on advertisement in mainstream media, and you'll notice there are no strictly factual programs about cars on the air, which is why we need a homemade car show like this one. And you can support us on Patreon. But to get back to the facts, we're using horsepower. But horsepower is not torque. I'll leave it to Engineering Explained to make sense of that mathematical miasma, but oversimplified, horsepower is like how fast you can talk and torque is how important what you're saying is. Now, ideally, you'd be able to talk quickly about the world's most important stuff, but only John Moshida Jr., AKA the Micro Machines Man from TV commercials in the 1980s, ever managed that. Now, I'm gonna show you some photos of these cars, but keep your emotions in check because the photos probably aren't indicative of the price points. We use the cheapest starting price listed for each model and base model figures for power and weight. No Abarth, no Fiesta ST, and no twin-turbo nitromethane-powered Smart 4.2. So, preamble, fully preambulated, let's meet our contestants. Weighing in at 1,073 kilograms and packing 75 kilowatts of power, it's the Italian Micro Stallion, the Fiat 500. And in this corner, weighing in at 1,124 kilograms with 102.9 kilowatts of power, the heart of soul, the Hyundai Accent. Tipping the scales at 1,181 kilograms with 99 kilowatts of power, known in foggy London town as the biggie of the smalls, the Mini Cooper. And in this corner, we have a lot of corners, weighing in at 1,151 kilograms with 89.4 kilowatts of power, the Detroit party platter, the Ford Fiesta. Weighing in at 1,020 kilograms with 81 kilowatts of power, the people pleaser from Japaneser, the Honda Fit. At 1,050 kilograms with 89.4 kilowatts of power, remove two thirds of its badging and it will say, yo, the Toyota Yaris. In this corner of our seemingly endless series of corners, at a Gossamer 899 kilograms with 66 kilowatts of power, the funky monkey with the engine in the trunky, the Smart 4.2. Weighing in at 1,319 kilograms with 55 kilowatts of power, listen all of y'all, it's not sabotage, it's the Mitsubishi Mirage. Weighing in at 1204 kilograms with 102.9 kilowatts of power and a cross-threaded favorite, the power drill not sold in Brazil, the Kia Rio. 
And here come the Bowtie Twins. First, the Chevrolet Sonic at 1233 kilograms and 101 kilowatts, and the Chevrolet Spark at 1018 kilograms and 71 kilowatts. And finally, at 1,071 kilograms and 81 kilowatts of power, the Nissan Versa's gonna hurt ya. All right, those are your contestants. Let's see what they've got. We'll start with power. In third place for power is the Mini Cooper at 99 kilowatts, which is surprising given that it has the highest amount of displacement at 2.0 liters. It actually doesn't even really belong on the list because it's got a price tag of over $20,000, but I included it because it's supposed to be a smallish performance car. In second for power, we have the Chevrolet Sonic at 101 kilowatts. It's got a 1.8 liter Ecotec engine and it's not afraid to do work. But in a tie for first place, thanks to sharing the 1.6 liter Gamma GDI engine, it's the Hyundai Accent and Kia Rio. Well done to our friends from South Korea on that one. Now, on to weight. In third place, the Honda Fit comes in at 1,020 kilograms, just two kilograms more than the Chevrolet Spark at second place. But the undisputed champion for weight is the Smart 4.2. At just 899 kilograms, it's 119 kilograms lighter than the Spark, but has only five less kilowatts of power, meaning you could probably beat the Spark in a drag race, even if you had a pudgy friend in the passenger seat of your 4.2. Of course, you'd have to convince them to ride in the thing with you in the first place, and they're not likely to do that if you keep asking them how much they weigh. So, how does our field shake out on power to weight? Well, at third place, again, we see our old friend, the Mini Cooper, at 0.083 kilowatts per kilogram, edging out the Chevrolet Sonic, which is in fourth at 0.081. But remember, the Mini is a full five grand more expensive than the Sonic, so it's not likely to hang on once we really dig into the PWD numbers. In second place at 0.085, we have a tie between the Toyota Yaris and our fave, the Kia Rio. Now, the Yaris is a few hundred bucks more expensive than the Rio, so it'll probably lose ground to the Rio in the final tally. That's just how these things go. But at the top of the list, sharing the same engine with the Rio, but shedding about 60 pounds, it's the Hyundai Accent. Well done, once again, Hyundai. And now we come to the ultimate showdown, the moment we've all been waiting for, power to weight to dollar. Oh, makes me feel good. In third place, the Kia Rio. I especially like this car in hatchback form, which does add a few extra pounds, but that 1.6 liter GDI is a pretty good little motor. Which leads me to second place, which should be no surprise, is held by the sister car with the same engine, the Hyundai Accent. It's a touch lighter than the Rio for almost the same money, so if you like the styling, you know, pick it up. And finally, in a surprise upset that will surely see this manufacturer popping champagne tonight and praising the wonder of power to weight to dollar, the Nissan Versa. Yes, the queen of the rental car fleet has carried the day thanks to the low price point of $11,990, a full thousand dollars cheaper than the Mitsubishi Mirage. So there you have it. If you want the best performing subcompact for the least possible money, going by the numbers alone, go out and get yourself a Nissan Versa. Or forget everything I just said and go with my favorite, the Kia Rio hatch. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you like what we're up to, we'd love to have your support on Patreon. You can also do face tweeting with our Insta Twitters, whatever, at crossthreaded.us. If you have any updated information on any of the data we've used here, please let us know. We don't mean to be wrong, but we also haven't figured out how to be perfect. Oh, and a special condemnation to Fiat for having two lightbox pop-up windows on their website. Madonna mia, no capito italiano, Fiat. <sighs>